Yeah, yeah, that's your boy DJ Paul KOM representing that mafia. And it's going down hot new hip hop. Yeah! Man, I was listening to Public Enemy, Luke Skywalker and Two Live Crew. I was listening to NWA, obviously, Ghetto Boys. And um, those was like my, Leo L. Cool J, those was like my number ones, you know what I'm saying, that I was, I was fucking with. And uh, I grew up listening to a lot of 80s rock. 80s rock, like I'm a big Van Halen fan, you know, 80s pop, Duran Duran, Tears for Fears, you know, so uh, that's what I really, really listened to on a daily back then and now. Before, the, before uh, I was a rapper, my dad made me take organ lessons, rest in peace, thank you dad. And um, that's, that's what, what really did it. But I was always into the horror movies and all of that, you know, I was a big horror fan because I was always into serial killers and all that. The first, our first group was called the Serial Killers, me and Lord Infamous. Yeah, you put out like a small... Three movie. songs, yeah. three song cassette tape, me and Lord Infamous. They on eBay right now, people be buying like a motherfucker. But, uh, um, <laughs> The serial killers say it's a collector's item. The serial killers tape, we pressed up 200 copies of them, and um, we sold them for like four or five dollars a piece at school. We sold all of them, and then we went into the volumes. DJ Paul, volume one, volume blah, blah, blah. It was all we had. All that, uh, all that old Three Six Mafia stuff was recorded on cassette tapes and all that, you know, and uh, reel to reels and all that. And, and, um, that's what that, that's you know we we didn't have no other choice. What what I use my uh, my weapon of choice I still got I buy them every time I see them in the pawn shop. I use a Roland W30 workstation. Okay. That's my keyboard. I got a bunch of them at my house, and uh, that was why it sampled for only 14 seconds. But I I made the world out of that 14 fucking seconds. You get on the motherfucking turntable, you speed that motherfucker up as fast as it go, then you speed up with your finger to get a little more yeah. sample time about us. So I was rolling W30 workstation, still use it today. I hate writing raps. I like making beats. I can sit up in this motherfucker and give you 10 beats in 10 minutes. I love beats, making beats, writing hooks for people, this and that, I hate writing raps. So the easiest way for me to write raps was to just write about shit that I really knew about. You know, I was trying to sit up here and talk about some stuff that I don't know about, that's too hard. So I knew about cocaine, you know, because I did cocaine and I knew about scissor and all that. So that was the easiest thing for me to come up with, you know, just to talk about that and how it affected you and how you felt when you did it and this and that. So that was an easy song for me to write. Yeah, that was Lord Infamous thing. You know, I don't know how the hell he got into all of that, but um, yeah, that was Lord Infamous thing. You know, all those tongue twisters, that was, that was his thing, that was his deal. And, you know, he killed that shit. You know, maybe 99% of the flows you hear out here these days came from Lord Infamous. Rest in peace, Lord Infamous, but they yeah, came from him. Yeah, cause so like, the way it goes with anything in life is, um, you know, if you if you can if you do it on your own before you, before the deals come um, upon you, you you can uh, set your own price. You know, so like the same record labels that in, that tried, where we tried to get record deal, record deals with back in the day, offered us a two hundred fifty thousand dollars signing bonus, and uh, they uh, we didn't do that deal. You know, we stayed independent. We brought out the records, and then when the records came out and they hit Billboard on their own independently, uh, they came back to us and they had to give us two point five million dollars. <laughs> Well, I learned this cool trick from a dude in Memphis. Uh, I learned how to, uh, how to sample myself and use the bender on the keyboard to scratch, to make a scratch sound out of it. Like the little, like, like octave, like- Yeah, this is way before it was uh, CDJs and all that. So I could take the bender and hit the key and like, tick, 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 tick and make it scratch. And I was like, what the hell? And I was like, how the fuck did you do that? And he showed me how to do it. 
So I was like, shit. So that's when I started doing it. So that's when I would uh, start sampling our hooks and scratching it. Yeah, we was, Three Six Mafia was before, yeah, it was before it's time. You know, 20 years later, you got those same songs that we made back then are hit songs in the club right now. You know, like ASAP Ferg's Plain Jane, you know, that slob on the knob. You know, um, there's a lot of songs out there like that that's, you know, uh, designer and got to the club up. Listen, there's tons of just, you know, Lil John got a huge EDM hit. You know, called In The Pit, that's off a hit a motherfucker. Listen that, so like, those, all those songs was made 20, 25 years ago, and they still killing the club, because we were just before our time. So I don't, I don't trip when I hear somebody that sounds like Lord, that must sound like us, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't uh, trip about it, because you know, we all got it from somebody. I, they don't have to pay homage, because they pay me an actual check, so like, I don't know, fuck homage when you get a check. <laughs> Long as I can drink my beer, watch my football games, walk to that mailbox, get that check, take a picture of it with my phone, I ain't gotta go to the bank, I'm good. For the majority, like my new album that's out right now, the DJ Paul on the Ground, volume 17. Make sure you go pick that up, go pick that up. That album is like 95% the old school, 90%, the old school sound. Same old equipment from back in the day. Floppy disk, floppy disk. Hashtag floppy disk. Anybody can Google it. You know, I probably don't know what the hell that is. But uh, some the same old school shit. But then some of the some of the new songs, some of the songs on there, I added touches of the new flavor that you know the kids messing with out here now. So you know, a few brighter instruments to say. But uh, for the most part, it's, it's the same old school shit. <laughs> 